my heart is sad and lonely for I have lost my one and only why haven't you seen it I'm all for you body and so I spent it's the drum hang and I'm Chris Smith. Today's record of the day, Carmen McRae at the Great American Music Hall. This 1977 recording is one of my favorite of Carmen. Uh, not only was she an amazing vocalist, one of my favorites, she was a great piano player and accompanist. Um, so on this album, the drummer is Joey Barron. You may know Joey Barron from other groups such as John Zorn's Masada, some uh, more contemporary Dave Douglas records. Um, Joey is a, a master drummer, and in the 70s he moved to Los Angeles because he wanted to get the gig with Carmen McRae, playing super swing and super straight ahead jazz music, and he did, and he succeeded greatly. This is uh, one of the albums he recorded with her, one of my favorites, Swing and Swing and Swing and Joey Barron on this record, it's, it's phenomenal. The reason I bring up this Carmen McRae record is because... Um, I practiced a lot with vocal vocalist uh, albums, especially when I was in high school, and it helped me learn songs, because not only would I hear the melody phrased, usually, if, especially if it's Carmen McRae, Betty Carter, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, you know, Billie Holiday, uh, Mel Torme, these, these, these great vocalists would phrase the melody correctly for that song, and I would hear the lyric. So I had something other than just the melody to help me remember the song, the form, the structure, the melody, the lyric really, really helps. So if you don't practice along with vocal recordings, I highly suggest it. It will help you really learn tunes when you get to the gig. Um, and that will piggyback onto today's lesson, which is playing double time over a ballad. Now, to practice playing some different double time feels over a ballad, I build this pyramid. And what it is, is level one is just, you're just playing the normal time, you're subdividing the triplet. Level two is you're making each eighth note a triplet a quarter note, basically. So you're, you're implying 12-8, and you're playing in 3-4 three, in three, over the slow ballad. The third level is double time, but in two. The fourth level is straight double time in four. So it's like ballad a little faster, double time but not in four, double time. So I'll show you what this entails, but each one of these is very useful for maybe using for a different soloist, not on every song, but pulling out of your hat, of a, a trick to pull out of your hat, jeez, magician, and using it to impart some energy and a little bit different feel to a ballad. So check this out, this is my ballad double time pyramid. You start with the bass ballad playing with your brushes and you're subdividing all the triplets. A lot of us play ballads and uh, if we're coming from rock, gospel, hip hop backgrounds, we automatically subdivide straight eighth notes because it's easier for us to feel because we've been feeling it longer. So we'll, we'll play a ballad and we'll think one and two and three and four and one and two and... But the better musicians you play with instrumentalists start phrasing ballads based off the triplet subdivision. So for instance, body and soul. Right? So triplet, triplet, trip. So the eighth notes are subdivided with triplets. So if they're playing the melody that way, we should follow them. And if we're playing straight underneath them, it's going to create this uncomfortable rub. So practice your uh, ballad pattern. Nice, full quarter notes with the subdivision being the triplet. And some of those eighth note triplets then um, with your right hands like this. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, and three. Right? 
So the first step above that is to take each eighth note triplet, triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, and you make each one of those eighth notes basically a quarter note. So you're going to play three, four over the ballad. Think of it as 12, eight, right? There's 12 eighth notes. We're going to use each eighth note as make it a new quarter note. So it sounds like this. Triple it, 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 triple it. One, two, three, two, three, four, two, three. One triple it, two triple it, three triple it, four. So. Basically, when the chords are moving in the ballad, usually it's one chord per beat or one chord maybe every two beats. When you play this 3-4, sort of, it's not straight double time, but this 3-4 idea over top of the ballad, it's easy for the other musicians to catch on because usually instead of uh, each chord getting one count in the old time, each chord gets one measure. One, two, three, two, two, three. So it's easy for the whole group to grasp. So this is one more time from ballad to the three, four. One, two, three, four. Triple it, two, triple it, three, triple it, four. So that's a good way to do something different for a soloist and see if the other musicians go with you. You add some different energy, different time to it, and then you go back to your home base. So the second level above that is to play double time, but not play the double time in 4-4. Four, four. You're going to play double time, you're going to treat it as in 2. So the easy way to do that is play your regular beat on your snare drum, and if you only play your hi-hat on beat 4, not on 2 and 4, it will feel like it's in 2. So it sounds like this. This is from ballad to double time in two. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Now, I should add, when we go to double time, we are feeling that straight eighth note almost to get us into the double time. So we're going triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, three and four and double time. Right? So here it is. One, two, Triple it, two, triple it, triple it, three and four and one, two, three, four, four. So I'm playing with my brushes. I'm playing in four. I'm playing my bass drum lightly on quarter notes, but my hi hat. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Helps it feel like it's in two. So the next step is to go back to ballad and play double time, but play it in four. So I'll put my hi hat on two and four. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. One, two, here's the double time. So here are the three options starting uh, at the ballad, going to 3 4, implying that 12 8, to double time in 2, to double time in 4. Here it is up the pyramid. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. One, two, three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Back to ballad. Bullet, just 
Now double time in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can hear as I got more comfortable with it, you're trying to do the transition, maybe the two beats before it goes to the double time, you're implying it so that the band is with you. So I think this gives you three good options to change up um, if you go to double time in a ballad, which you shouldn't always go to double time in a ballad, but this gives you three good options that if you do add a little different energy, uh, add a change of pace to a ballad on the next gig, see what happens. It's also okay to discuss it uh, say if you're a student or you have a group, whatever, just be like, man, can we go to double time in your solo? That way you're all on the same page. I see no problem with that. But it's a, it's a very useful uh, thing, and it's a, if anything, it's a good way for you to practice going from slow to fast and back to slow. So I hope this is, is helpful for you. Check out Carmen McRae. Play with great vocalists on CD, on recordings. Learn tunes, not just from the melody, but from the lyric. Check out these brush things, check out Carmen, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for checking out the drum hang.